Hello, I'm Sheetal Mehta. I'm a senior solicitor in IBB's Residential Conveyancing Department. A lease is a right to use the property for a period of time. As the lease gets shorter, the value of the lease decreases and it becomes more expensive to extend the lease. That's why it's often a good idea to increase the term of the lease. Sometimes it's difficult to sell a property with a short lease because mortgage lenders may be reluctant to lend money on such properties. A leaseholder can either extend their lease using the Leasehold Reform, Housing and Urban Development Act 1993 if applicable or by private negotiation with their landlord. When a lease drops below 80 years, the premium to extend the lease increases because marriage value becomes payable. Marriage value is the increase in the value of the flat arising from the grant of the new lease. It is therefore recommended that the lease is extended before it drops below 80 years. Generally, you'll be a qualifying tenant if your lease was more than 21 years when originally granted and you've been the registered owner of your flat for two years. You should note, however, that if your freeholder is the Crown, National Trust or part of a building within a cathedral precinct, your flat might be excluded from the right to extend your lease, but specialist advice should be taken. Shared ownership leases will not qualify unless they have staircased to 100%. Assuming you are a qualifying tenant in all other respects, you have the right to extend your lease once you've been the registered owner of the flat for two years. You don't have to have lived there, just owned it. The right under the Leasehold Reform, Housing and Urban Development Act 1993 is to add 90 years to what is left on your existing lease. For example, if you have 75 years left on your lease, you will be given a new lease of 165 years. Alternatively, you may be able to extend your lease to any number of years by negotiating with your landlord. If you obtain a lease extension under the Leasehold Reform Housing and Urban Development Act 1993, you'll only have to pay a peppercorn rent, which will mean no grand rent at all. If you extend your lease by negotiation with your landlord, you may still have to pay grand rent depending on what you agree. To calculate the premium payable, it's advisable to obtain a valuation from a qualified surveyor who specialises in this area. Where there is disagreement about what the lease extension should cost, under the Leasehold Reform Housing and Urban Development Act 1993, it's possible to make an application to the first tier tribunal, the property chamber, to determine the price. Yes, there will be additional costs. You'll be responsible for your landlord's reasonable costs. This is limited to legal and valuation costs. For example, the landlord's valuation, legal costs of drawing up the new lease and checking your right to make the claim for a lease extension. You do not have to pay the landlord's costs of going to a first tier tribunal, the property chamber. No, you don't have to go through the Act. You can negotiate informally with your landlord to extend your lease, either on the same terms as under the Act or on different terms. However, if you cannot agree the terms and you haven't gone through the Act, you will not be able to go to the first tier tribunal. Yes, provided that the leaseholder qualifies under the Leasehold Reform Housing and Urban Development Act 1993 and has served the correct notice under Section 42 of the Act, they have a right to extend their lease. To determine the premium, it's advisable to obtain a valuation from a qualified surveyor who specialises in this area. The leaseholder is required under the Leasehold Reform Housing and Urban Development Act 1993 to pay your reasonable valuation and legal costs. It is advisable to have a solicitor check the validity of the leaseholder's Section 42 application notice, to serve a counter notice within specified time limits, draft the new lease and liaise with the leaseholder's solicitor. The leaseholder will be responsible for some of your legal costs. If the leaseholder thinks your costs are unreasonable, they can apply to the first tier tribunal, the property chamber, for determination. The terms of the new lease will generally be the same, except for the length and the ground rent. If you are using the Leasehold Reform Housing and Urban Development Act 1993, the landlord is permitted to make certain variations to the lease, so long as they are in accordance with the provisions of Section 57 of the Act. 
if you are extending a lease by private negotiation, there are no rules because you're acting outside of the provisions of the Act. You can try to negotiate with the landlord if they insist on varying the lease. You can either accept their offer or proceed using the Act if applicable. If the landlord is missing and you qualify under the Leasehold Reform Housing and Urban Development Act 1993, you can apply to the County Court for an order to dispense with the service of the initial notice. This will mean that your lease can be extended by the court. However, you will be required to demonstrate that you have made all reasonable attempts to locate the landlord. In some cases, an inquiry agent may be useful to carry out a search and to produce a report which can be used as evidence that the landlord is indeed missing. It's wise to seek advice from a solicitor both on investigating the landlord's absence and the application to the County Court. You can contact the Land Registry to find out who the registered freeholder is and, if necessary, obtain a copy of the freehold title register. In the Section 42 notice, you must specify a date for response of at least two months from the date of service of the notice. If your landlord does not respond or responds late, then you can apply to the County Court for a lease extension on the terms set out in the Section 42 notice within six months from the date the counter notice was supposed to be given. If a new lease has not been entered into within two months of the agreement or first tier tribunal's determination, either party can make an application to the County Court for an order to deal with the conclusion of the lease extension. This application must be made within two months of the initial two-month period expiring. If you'd like to learn more about lease extensions, please contact me, Sheetal Mehta, or one of my colleagues in the Residential Conveyancing Team at IPB Solicitors.